Yeah, I'm supposed to release a new update for the app. I'll show you. Found a picture of me back before I started lifting weights. I f actually found a picture of me before I was like lifting weights and shit. And no, it was on someone else's Facebook, and I didn't care. Like, it just goes to show how far I've come. Like, <laughs> but like most of my pictures back then were always were were always like. I just sent it to you. We're always like in hoodies and shit, but this one's actually with a t-shirt. I was drunk as fuck after coming home from a masquerade party. So uh, I stuck a banana in my shorts or whatever, in my sweatpants. But but it was like the first, it's the only picture right now that I can find. And I found it on accident because it was like, you remember this from four years ago? It was like, no, no I don't, but holy shit. <laughs> and if anything, like, because as you, as you grow, like, you don't really realize how much you're growing, I guess. I don't know, like... And in my head, I almost did convince... I had almost convinced myself that I had always been... This big, I just kind of, like, cut up, you know? Or, like, I just started getting muscle definition. And then I saw this picture, I was like, holy shit, no, I have made a lot... Of fucking progress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Log on to BDO. Because I haven't given up on BDO yet, so I still log on to get my daily rewards at least. I'm hoping that you guys aren't giving up or, like, at least trying to get up to 56. But, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of giving up, though, because, like, as I was talking to... Uh, like I was saying to Wraith, is like, now that we're 56... All there is is a huge grind before we can actually start doing things, like... Because we can't be competitive in PvP until we're, like... 300 combined AP DP or whatever. And the... Who's... what's his name? Oh. Mm-hmm. I'll ask him, but I feel like he he might not be as big shot of a dude in his guild as he says he is. <laughs> or that he acts like he is. He's never said that he was a big shot. But he does say to drop his name when people are bothering us from their guild. And every time that we've, bu we've dropped his name, people have just still killed us. You know, like... Like when we... Well, actually, I guess they didn't push us out completely out of uh, uh, Susan's the other day. But they definitely didn't let us come anywhere near their shit. And then, um, there was that Sork that was trying to kill me and me and Hector. I was like, "What are you doing? Uh, we're we're friends with Zobies or whatever." And then they just kept killing us. <laughs> you see the picture? No. Oh, okay, you're on live right now? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, if you look, you can look it on your phone. You know that like, we still have those, right?
You didn't tell me you were alive. I wouldn't wouldn't have talked about being scrawny ever. I've always been big. <laughs> this man is an imposter. <laughs> oh my God, you're really big. I know, right? <laughs> but like I said, if anything, it just makes me like realize how far I've come. Yeah. Hey, apparently we did get a red seal from that one time that we played. Oh wait, no, that's right. Did I tell you I went back into fucking uh, <coughs> Red Battlefield on the different server and the PvP wall? Yes, I was on one of the ones that's like completely open. It fucking sucks, dude. It's pretty much just. It's really. It's seriously pretty much just uh, AOE all day, and the melees kind of hope that they can grab someone. <laughs> But you just get like slowed down and circled by rangers and fucking wizards all day, dude. That's all it was. But yeah, I used to be itty bitty, dude. I mean, unless you're someone watching this that I don't know, and in that case, I was always huge! <laughs> What upsets me is there's this dude, and I know, like, no homo before I say this. I know that the only reason he's. No, I mean, not really, but like. Fucking, uh, he, he's, he's, uh, sponsored and everything on Instagram as, like, a fitness model or whatever the fuck. And I'm so much bigger and more defined than he is, but I know that he only is, is sponsored because he's a pretty boy. That doesn't sound that gay. Just the fact that he's a pretty boy. And I'm just like, fucking, <laughs> fucking, if I was a fucking pretty boy instead of some ugly little short dude, I could be picked up. Fast as hell as a fucking uh hey man, fitness. That's a height requirement. There's a height requirement. I don't think there is, but the shortest person who's ever won yeah. Mr. Olympia was like five four, <laughs> five five. Five two, asshole. You should be able to do it. I'm not sure if I can burn the phone up on stage. <laughs> Shortest Mr. Olympia winner. Yeah, Franco Colombo was Yeah, Franco was five foot five. And he was the shortest Mr. Olympia. No, you could break that record. He sounds like me. He started off as a boxer, and then just switched into weightlifting, powerlifting, and later bodybuilding. He was a two-time, at least. Yuki, what? Yuki, why? Why are you being so vocal today?
could see you with the shirt. The shirt is competitive. Minimum height requirement for Mr. Olympia. Minimum height requirement for Mr. Olympia. Yeah. I am too fat for the Mr. the Arnold Classic. I told you about that, right? I got shredded with like abs and everything, but then like I couldn't lift heavy weights and I did not like it. So now I find a happy middle where I'm not a fat piece of shit, but I'm not like shredded, and I'm happy about it because I can lift a lot more than. You should be able to. Uh... No, Arnold, wait. Yeah. World's best professional bodybuilders. Arnold Classic, if I remember, is just more towards, like, the classic physique, if I remember. If I had to choose, if I if I actually got into bodybuilding, which I've done a lot of research into bodybuilding and decide that it's definitely not for me, but if I had to look into bodybuild or into bodybuilding, I would definitely go for the um, classic physique competitions. Cause I do not like that fucking mass monster bullshit. beer gut that just a beer gut that just so happens to have fucking abs on it yeah, yeah no pass Chris. <coughs> I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. <coughs> I'm dying inside. I am getting like a little bit more of a gut now because I, I, I'm on a cycle of casein, which adds a lot of water weight. It's you. Doesn't matter. Unless you don't want them to see your email. <laughs> Like go offline and then fuck it. I finally found something that I can work legs with that that doesn't that doesn't hurt my le my knee because my family has a very very long history of horrible knee knee problems. My my grandma actually just had to get a knee replacement surgery or whatever so. I've been having to go easy on actual squats and finding like supplementary shit, but I found if I use the trap bar, uh, I don't know if you know what that is, but there's a thing called a trap bar, if I use that to do squats and deadlifts, it helps a lot more. Well, I can do deadlifts, but it's squats that fucks up my knees. Like even, even at a dead standstill, like I could be fucking, <laughs> I could be chilling all fucking day doing nothing. And, uh... Oh, Hector's on. Hector! Hi! I got Chris Earth Defense Force. What? Or Chris got Earth Defense Force. What? Let me put this on right. There we go. Beautiful. 
I might just eat my mic. But like, I could stand up right now, and if I could, if my mic was sensitive enough, I could put it up to my knee, and then like, touch my foot to my ass, and you would hear my knee pop out of place, and then pop back in when I put it back down. Like, that's how fucked up my knee is normally. So, well, it's not just. Not just from sitting, like any time. I could be warmed up and just like I could be doing jump ropes and have nice warmed up legs and it'd be like POP <laughs> What did I just walk into? I was telling him that I that's kinda Oh no, I'm about to get in there, like Yeah. Muscle muscle. Muscular cirrhosis. I was like, what's the M? <laughs> I was telling that it runs in my family that I have bad knee problems, like, and stuff, and that I, I found out and uh, something that I can use to put mass on my quads besides actual back squats. What'd you catch? My family just gave me gout and a bad heart. Howkey man. <laughs> So I'm probably gonna die whenever I'm 40 of a heart attack. I think I. <laughs> Thanks for okay. games. Um, I think I might be like allergic to cinnamon because ever since I started like eating oatmeal twice a day, once for breakfast and once for for third meal, uh, I've ha been having like breathing issues, <laughs> and it usually acts up right when I. I eat five meals, so I don't know what to call them. There's, oh. There's breakfast. You're on a hobbit diet. Breakfast, lunch, right. lunch dinner, dinner. Breakfast. Depends when you eat it. Like, you could have two lunches. Like, well, I, I get there's well, There's I first there's meal. Lunch, there's wait. Lunch, like, there's three variants of lunch, I guess, so. Huh. First meal, breakfast. First meal, breakfast, lunch. Fourth meal, dinner? Yeah. No, that's right. It's just breakfast, lunch, third meal, dinner, fifth meal. It's called second lunch and second dinner. <laughs> but they're usually not like a full meal. Like, third meal is just a cup of oatmeal. Breakfast is just a cup of oatmeal. And fifth meal is literally just a protein shake. Is that a meal? Like... Yes. <laughs> Casey's shake will fill you the fuck up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> good. Everything's fine. Yep. Rip. <laughs> so how are you ingesting... I, I pour it into my oatmeal and then like stir it. <laughs> you don't give it yourself an enema? <laughs> yeah, I, I just. <laughs> so Gex will be joining us in EDF. I don't know what he's doing today. If he wants to, sure. <laughs> it's a fun ass game, and I figured he wouldn't. He wouldn't. I didn't want him to feel left out because all me and Hector were always we're on that fucking EDF kick right now. Yeah, man. We could even try out new classes, Hector. I know. Like, I figure I might go wing diaper, maybe. What the fuck is going on with my computer? I guess I'd just go ranger. Chris, what do you think you're gonna play? What the fuck? Why would you do this to me, computer? So, you know I there's a big tanky dude. He's a tanky dude. <laughs> He's the dude that I normally play. Then there's the ranger, which is like the all-around assault class. I figure you would like the wing diver. Especially since you like to be... Especially since you like to be the prettiest. <laughs> well, as the only girl class, you would uh, that would that would be a pretty solid one to choose.
<laughs> it is a Korean game. No, it's Japanese. It's Japanese. Never mind. Let's say Korea is very fa fond of their pretty boys, though. So. I mean, there might be a trap. I don't know. That's the secret of the <coughs> of the wing divers. They're all boys. They're all reverse traps. <laughs> or no, they'd all be traps. I don't know if I should just go again with Fencer so I can get even more armor. <laughs> I I'd probably go wing or fencer until we got to the point where I'm I'm on my ranger. And then just go to Ranger. No, you should totally go air raider. Hmm, this is not my cup of tea. Yeah. Ranger's good though. Yeah, but it's more of a supportive class, like yeah, it's whenever you catch up to us, y you'll notice now that I'm gonna be doing a lot more supporting and a lot less mean, damage to you. I've already seen it. This soldier class is for an inter. <laughs> It's for intermediate Ramp. players, because the main purpose of this soldier class is to assist allies. It is best suited for cooperative gameplay. You should probably select this soldier class after you've gained a certain degree of familiarity with the game. Yep. Ranger is the easiest to use and has the highest combat strength. If you are playing the game for the first time, you should start out by choosing this soldier class. No. Even the game says that the fencer's the fucking hardest to play. My monitor is going fucking ham on me. Like, it's not even funny how bad this is. <laughs> Everything's fine! <laughs> Everything's fine! <laughs> what has happened? Who fucked up my settings? Why am Chris, I now we can both stream EDF and, like, they can see two different angles. Catalyst, uh, Raiden, AMD, fuck, save my goddamn life. What the fuck is going on? What have you done to my monitor? Don't touch my monitor. Holy fuck, shit. Has this happened to you before? No, this is a different issue. One that's not as bothersome. Here you go, I can get a Polari roll with this cream cheese, avocado, smoked salmon, jack fry. Oh god damn it, what have I done? <laughs> what did you call it? <laughs> it's the Polar roll or something like that. Cream cheese, avocado, smoked salmon, jack fried, top of dynamite, and sweet corn. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's supposed nice. to be jalapenos, but they just said it jacks. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. Yes. What is that sister settings? <laughs> what the fuck? Display settings. Why? How do you battle roll with a ranger? What the fuck? Uh, you. Oh, dude. Is it only certain weapons? You're no, no. You're in a. You're... So in order to roll, you have to look diagonally or move diagonally and press space. I've never told you this, but movement as the air raider and the ranger fucking sucks dick. <laughs> like, it sucks. <laughs> this is the most damage. This does... <laughs> you see, I don't want to use Gatling gun. I've used a Gatling gun. What are you slaying us? Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna run Fencer. <laughs> gonna do a <laughs> butthole spear. Yep. With a deflection shield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Blast bolts. So. You start your download? 
Hector G-Check in my YouTube room. Uh, which one? You post 